Hey everyone, welcome back to the course. So in the last video, we went ahead and launched our lab environment. We also started taking a look at our target in this situation, Philip Nomad. So we looked at a fake social media profile um, here in the lab environment. And we were able to see how many followers Philip had. Did he post frequently? We noticed that he posted, you know, it seemed like at least once a day, sometimes twice a day. And then we were also able to answer the question, was Philip married? And the answer is yes. Looks like based on his post, he was married for a couple of years to his wife, Nina. So now we're at step eight in this lab. So we're going to take a look at some of the photos in his post. And then uh, basically we're going to look to see, has anyone else commented on Philip's photos? And if yes, what are their names? We're also going to take a look and see if they've got children or not. So do Philip and his wife have children or not? And if yes, what are their names? And then we'll keep moving on throughout the rest of his profile. So let's just scroll back up a little bit here. This is the first post here. So uh, we see that that's him and, you know, hopefully that's his wife and not, not someone else. Uh, but that appears to be his wife. And we see there's some kind of, you know, water in the background. So maybe ocean, maybe a lake, something like that. This looks like a honeymoon or, a, you know, a wedding type of photo. Uh, so they both look pretty happy in there. But we could tell that they took a trip at some point. We see here that he mentions, hey, this is my wife. Uh, you know, we're married for two years, so again, we can assume that this is either the wedding itself or during the honeymoon. And one of our questions, we see here immediately that some people have posted on here, right? So we see Alexis has posted. She's very happy about this. You know, John is happy for them as well. He's asking when's the baby due. So that actually answers another question on our list here, right? So if we come back here, has anyone else commented on Philip's post? You know, yes, we did see that. And then question number five, does Philip have children? If yes, what are their names? So we see that they might be expecting a baby, uh, but they don't have, it doesn't look like they got children right now because there's no mention of like, hey, you know, we're happy that, you know, little Billy liked, you know, liked the wedding or something like that. So uh, the mention is like, hey, when's a baby due? So it could be something of a future thing, like maybe they're you know, trying to have a baby or the friends is trying to encourage them to have a baby um, as some people do. Or they are, you know, they're actually pregnant. Well, not he's not pregnant, but she's pregnant. Um, and they're expecting a baby. So that's another thing if we were trying to, you know, for example, meet Philip in person. If we know that he's, his wife's about to have a child, and let's say we're, we work as a nurse, maybe we can get a job at the hospital kind of near where they live at. And, you know, again, it's kind of stalkerish, but we could get a, a job at the hospital they kind of they, uh, live near and potentially be the nurse that's working with his wife. Uh, and so we can get more information about Philip. Um, that's kind of a, a dramatic example there because it's a lot of, uh, there's a lot of risk involved as far as like, you know, obviously being discovered, that sort of stuff. So um, you rarely would see an actual like attacker do something like that. However, it could happen. All right, so let's go back to our lab document here. So now what we're going to do is just basically keep uh, going through the other posts by Philip, and we're just going to take a look at other useful information that we might be able to find. So that's going to be question number six there. Now, as we scroll through it, I'm going to point out what I think is useful information. Um, so we see, you know, of course, information about his wife, knowing her name, that sort of stuff. Um, that's beneficial. Knowing that they may be expecting a child or they may be trying to get pregnant um, could be an angle of conversation that we could use to strike up with Philip. Uh, we see, you know, that he's very in love with his wife. Uh, and so, you know, we see that he's willing to do anything, you know, for her essentially, right? So we could use that as a tactic to get information or, you know, have him do certain things if we're, for example, working for a competitor company. As we continue, uh, continue scrolling down here, this is what I actually wanted to take a look at here. So we see that his car broke down. So it looked like yesterday his car broke down um, and he left his phone at home. So we noticed a couple things about Philip. You know, number one here, of course, the car car broke down, right? Um, so he's probably used a repair shop or something like that, or he has, he's got a mechanic, uh, more than likely a repair shop he used. So maybe we can hack that repair shop and get information, like personal information about Philip from their systems because they they might be a weaker uh, security sense than like a, maybe Philip's working for a huge company and they're a lot more secure than the little, you know, repair mom and pop repair shop. The other thing that we uh, see here is that he left his phone at home. So sometimes it seems like, you know, maybe he has an issue of forgetting his phone or his, you know, his, uh, you know, 
uh, iPad or something like that at his house. So uh, perhaps we're good at lock picking and maybe Philip and his wife don't have a security system. Maybe we, you know, can can see when they leave or something and maybe we can get in there and see if there's any electronics left behind that might have data on them that we can, you know, either steal or copy. Obviously copying the information is better because that way Philip doesn't know we've done anything, right? So um, that's another avenue here as well with this particular bit of information. All right, so now we're going to go back to the top of the page. We're going to click the About tab, and then we're going to take a look and see if we notice any actual personal information about Philip. So if we scroll back up here, and we're going to click on the About tab, this one right here. And we just want to take a look and see if there's any information that he's actually sharing, like personal information. So right off the bat, you know, I'm sure your eyes went to the same spot. You noticed the date of birth. Uh, so obviously never share your date of birth on social media, especially the year. And I'll just say this, he looks a little, well, I guess he could be 29. He looks a little old, older than that, um, but you never know. But this is a fake profile after all, so it doesn't really matter. We also see that he's sharing his phone number. Uh, some other, you know, semi-personal information that he's sharing is his education. So we could potentially say, hey, yeah, I, I went to Oxford University as well, and I studied computer science. I see we have that in common and be with us on social media. We also see that he's a, a front-end software engineer at Google. And so from there, we could say, well, I'm targeting Google. Here's an employee of Google. Let me, you know, use Philip as my target. Or we could say, oh, Philip works at Google. Maybe I can mention that I work in some other department at Google. You know, he more than likely wouldn't know that. You know, he wouldn't know if I'm legit, especially if I say I'm a contractor or something. And so that that's another avenue in. We also see he likes to play guitar um, and that he has a dog. So we might be able to use those as avenues in. And maybe uh, maybe Philip even does like concerts or something in, in town, plays locally at a bar or something. So we might use that to go and, and play or something. Or we could connect with him on social media and say, hey, look, yeah, I play, you know, at the bar over here. I play guitar. Why don't you come over, stop over and hang out sometime, you know. And it's all, all this is just about trying to get information about our target and then exploit that information for our own benefit. All right, so let's go back to our lab document here. All right, so as I mentioned here, yeah, we, we had seen he's, he works as a, a software engineer. Um, we see some past employers. So question number eight here, let's take a look and see if he speaks any languages besides English. And then also what country does it look like he's posting from? So let's scroll down here and just see what other information we have. Of course, we see the Google, HP, stuff like that. So we see that it looks like he's posting from the UK. All right, so we've answered that question there. And if we scroll down a little further on the page, you'll see what languages it says he speaks. So he's fluent in English, and it looks like he's beginner level in French. All right, so let's go back to our lab document here. All right, so now we're going to go ahead and go back to the top here. We're going to select the Album tabs over there. So we'll scroll back up and then select on Album. And the first thing we're going to see here is that he lists himself as a creative director. So it's potentially telling us that, okay, maybe he's director level, maybe he's got, you know, administrative type of access on the company's network. It doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, as you've probably seen in social media, you know, like janitors are calling themselves, you know, uh, cleaning architect and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, sometimes social media people are just making up titles. But it, it is a potential avenue that we could use. So we always want to make sure we gather that information and we can hopefully exploit it. So we already know that he has a dog. Um, and we're able to see that as well here. Now we're going to scroll back up to the friends area in a second. We will see a photo of a dog here, and so it implies that that's probably his dog that we had seen the name of before. We also see some other photos there. They may or may not be of actually him or his wife or things they've done. Could just be random photos from the internet. So now we're just going to click on the friends tab here. We're going to pull up that page as well. All right, so all we're going to do here now is we're just going to take a look at his friends list and then just think to yourself, like, what kind of things you could do with this information. So we see a lot of different friends here. We see, you know, somebody as, as a student at Oxford, so they probably met there in some capacity. We see that John Doe is a traveler. We also know that John posted on his previous post. Uh, we see Nina. That seems to be Philip's wife. She's an art designer, so maybe we can connect with her that way and then use her as, as an avenue into talking to Philip. And, you know, you'll notice a lot of his people are either software engineers, a lot of his friends list, or photography, graphic design, musicians, so kind of that artsy type of thing. Um, we also see that there's a CEO right here, so maybe that's somebody that worked with him at Google at some point. So all these people, you know, the what we're looking for here, all these people could be exploited, the relationships can be exploited with Philip, so that way we can actually get information about him. So we could be asking these people like, hey, you know, I noticed that you're a software engineer, maybe you work at Google with Philip. 
is he a good guy, you know, or hey, he's interviewing for a job, can I use you as a reference, he puts you down as a reference, can you just tell me a little more about him or whatever. So all these things we're using to gather information to then use in our attack. So in this video, we just wrapped up our discussion on Philip Nomad. So we went ahead and looked at his entire profile here, took a look around to see what information we could gather. In the next video, we're going to jump into the fake profile that I mentioned I created.